Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Joining us now, we have Charlie Ford. He is with Slifers with the Brampton Real Estate. You're new to Slifer, but not new to the Valley. Good That's to see correct. you again, Charlie. You too, Trisha. How's everything? Oh, good. good yeah. Good, good. So I think we're just going to talk a little real estate this morning. What do you think? It sounds good. I mean, I know that that's such a hot topic. When my friends it come is. in from out of town, they're always wondering, what's going on with Vail? It seems like with all the national headlines, Vail seems to escape a lot of that and really just has their own headlines. What's been making news? It's a great question. The, the, the markets really stopped bumping along the bottom of the trough of the wave. You know, I think uh, 2012, 2013 really sh indicated that... Uh, you know, we're, we're, we are on the uptick. There's no disputing that. Um, 2012 had about 1.16 billion total in transactions volume uh, in Eagle County. And then 2013 was just below that, about 1.06 billion. Wow. So wow. very, very similar in the years. The really crazy part about this is that, uh, you know, in 08, obviously things were, were quite a bit different. And in 09, things took a downturn. In 09, there was almost 2,000 listings in the Vail Valley. Now there's just over a thousand. So the inventory is really, really low, which to me indicates that people are, are finding what they want and uh, having to look onto properties that aren't actually listed for more things that they want. Yeah, almost like if you hear of something that's going to go for sale, you know, tell your buddies right away that that's what right. they're looking because that's the thing. And, you know, the demand, I think, will always be there. When uh -huh. you think about our, our limited amount of land available to either build or have something right. already built on, people want to be in the mountains, whether it's summer or winter. You know, Vail you, is always a popular place. You mentioned that, and I was just thinking, on each side of the valley, we're surrounded by National Forest Service land. And so that's what really drives this market. This market is just like any other market, you know, currencies, commodities, and you really have to find the mix between the value play of the purchase and also the lifestyle. If, if you want to be here and you want to have those great summers, which we all dream about with the, with the air conditioning that's natural, yeah. you know, the organic <laughs> air conditioning we all joke about. Those cool nights. Those cool nights, those jeans in August in the evening, mm -hmm. um, mixed with a good value play. I got a lot of people that are asking me, Charlie, I want this, this, and this. It's a buyer request. So with Cypher's platform of you know, over 100-something brokers, I'm able to actually you know, capitalize on that for my client, yeah. which really means able to, to send out. I've got a buyer that's looking for three bedrooms, two-car garage. They want views. They want amenities, that type of thing. And then with our network, we can actually pull those out of the hat. Well, and that's just so neat, too. In the, we have so many different pockets of neighborhoods from Eastville all the way down. And let's, we want to ranch out to the west that's of right. here. So all the different nuances of the neighborhoods. And that's where you guys really go and do detective work. You speak to your clients. They give you a few ideas of what they want. And sure. then you're like, yep, you want ski in, ski out. We're going to go look at this place. Or you want wide open <clears> spaces. <throat> you want a little warmer. You want to go down valley. It's a good observation. You know, as, I'm, as I'm just sitting here, you and I just said we were going to improv this morning and talk about the market we've got specialists that handle only ranch land mm -hmm. out by walcott out by bond on the way to steamboat beautiful views acres 40 acres more than that we've also got specialists like myself in the fractional ownership you know i recently was in Vail for the 2013 year i uh, was able to have probably the most transactions of any broker in the partial ownership sector in Vail village last year and i recently made a switch to slifer to be their specialist not only in Vail with uh, you know, One Willow Bridge and the Sebastian and uh, Vail Mountain Lodge and Spa and the Austria House, all those great properties there, even the Ritz Carlton. But to come over and look at, you know, the St. James Place, yeah. Park Plaza, uh, Hyatt Mountain Lodge and Spa. There's some great partial ownership properties, and that's really kind of my specialty. Yeah, so. and you know, a lot of times maybe you don't need more than just that week or two in the that's winter right. or summer or that's both. Right. So, right. okay, well, Charlie, if we want to start the conversation, what's the best way to reach you? Uh, my cell phone, easiest, 970-376-3336. Okay. And recently with my, you know, joining Slifer, they've, they've brought me on to help them resell all the residences at the Park Hyatt. Oh, I love that place. Okay. Great place. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Charlie, for coming on. And you can find out more slifer.net for details. But yeah, whether you're looking for fractional or if you want a full ownership, they can help you out at Slifer. We're going to take it over to the weather wall. Mark Sassy is standing by with your Monday weather. I think you're going to be pretty happy with that. A lot of sunshine in the forecast.